In this video, we will see what Uxpressure is all about, its main features, and we'll learn how to create and build customer journey maps and personas using this platform. So what is Uxpressure and why people use it? Uxpressure is a powerful customer experience visualization tool that will help you create your buyer or customer journey map and persona easy and fast, allowing you to collaborate and brainstorm with your teammates in real time, no matter how far away they are. You can also easily share the maps and personas you create with anyone, even with those who don't have an account at Uxpressure. The maps and personas you create require no graphic design skills, but the result will be amazing and ready for a presentation. By using our tools, you will be able to easily visualize customer journey maps for both existing projects, products or services, and for those that are still in development. You will also be able to organize and visualize research data findings in a clear, digestible and presentable way. And overall, Uxpressure will help you to up your customer journey mapping game, no matter what industry you're from and how complex your projects might be. And with that in mind, let's open it up. All maps and personas that you create will show up inside the projects on the starting page called the dashboard. At any moment, you can return to the dashboard by clicking the Uxpressure logo on top or by selecting the dashboard from the drop-down menu here. Your dashboard is divided into several sections. The section called My Projects will contain the projects that you create or that you own. All the projects that the teammates within your workspace shared with the workspace will show up down here. A few examples of journey maps and personas that you can create in Uxpressure will be at the bottom of the dashboard. There's also a tab that contains projects shared with you via your email address. Finally, there's a template tab which contains over 30 templates that you can use when creating journey maps and personas. Now keep in mind that you can be a member of several workspaces or, in other words, work environments. By default, when you just sign up, you will have your own default workspace within which you can create projects that will belong to this specific workspace. Now you can also be invited to other workspaces by your teammates, though it's best to work within a single team workspace for more seamless collaboration. You can see if you're a member of multiple workspaces by clicking this drop-down menu. Know that each workspace has its own billing subscription, so you can be a member of both a pro workspace that has no limits and also a member of a free workspace where the functionality you have will be fairly limited. If you work with a team, chances are you will have a single workspace with a paid subscription. In this case, make sure everything that you create is within this team workspace. To start off, let's create your first project. Click the button Add Project on the right. Projects are very much like folders on your Mac or PC, and they can be opened by clicking the gray area next to its name. Besides, you can open the project as a separate page, and you can rename the project by clicking the Edit button right here. By default, each newly created project is private, even if it's located in a team workspace. You can share it by clicking the area where it says Private. Now, there are three main ways of sharing. Public sharing or sharing via direct link. The best part about this type is you can share your project with anyone, including people that don't have an account at Uxpressure. It works best when you need to share the project with your manager or if you're setting up an online journey mapping or brainstorm session and you want to collaborate with a number of participants without having them sign up and purchase a subscription. The downside is the invitees won't be able to export or create new documents within this project. The workspace level sharing allows sharing a project with everyone within this workspace. Once shared, it will appear at the bottom part of your teammate's dashboard. Finally, sharing via email will allow you to share projects with individuals by typing in their email address. Make sure you use the email they used when signing up for an account at Expressha. Projects shared via email will show up under the Shared With Me tab of the dashboard. For each type of sharing, you can specify the level of access, either Edit or View. Now let's move further by adding a new persona to our project. It doesn't matter in which order you go, you can start either with persona or a journey map, but first make sure you got the project opened and then hit the Add button in the upper menu. To open the persona, click on its name. The interface accent color will change to light green and we'll see a set of these pretty fine content sections. These boxes can be rearranged, renamed, 
you can change the size of the text box fairly easily. You can colorize most of the boxes and you can easily delete them. You can come up with a set that works best for you and you can add more sections from this select window here. Now note that you don't have to do this setup every time you create a new persona. You can make a copy of it and then use it as a template. So every time you start a new persona, you can just copy this and drag it to another project and save yourself some time. Now let's go back to the persona. So for starters, you can generate a name and a photo. You can always upload an image from your own computer and type a new name. Now start filling in those boxes. Depending on the section you're working with, you will either have a possibility to select some icons or play around with the sliders or type in some text. You can always make things pretty by uploading an image or using a list or adding some style to the text by using the text formatter here. If you need to undo an action, you can use the undo and redo buttons conveniently placed in the upper menu. Remember that you can work within the same persona with other collaborators in real time and see all changes happening on the fly without the need to refresh the page. Now, when you have more than one persona in your project, you can either click through them by using this left panel right here or go into multiple persona view and see all the personas on a single screen. Finally, you can export the persona you created to either PNG or PDF. The PDFs are vector-based, so you can print them in any size or show on large screens without losing the quality. Now let's move on to customer journey maps. The interface will become blue, and again, we'll see some default sections that are there to give you the idea of what you can do. Let's first add the persona we created to this map. Now we can start working out the backbone of our map, that is the sequence of steps that your customers take when going through the journey. You can start by renaming the existing ones, and then you can add more stages along the way. The stages can be reordered by dragging and dropping, and they can be also deleted fairly easily. Then you can move to the sections, or in other words, the perspectives from which we analyze each step be it user goals, the process, areas of opportunities, user experience, etc. There are over 20 sections that can contain either text and images, just images, documents, or videos. There are also specific sections like processes and channels and experience section. Each section can be renamed and dragged up and down. You can add more sections by clicking at section located at the bottom of the editor. Just like the persona tool, you can undo and redo any action. And of course you can collaborate with teammates in real time. And same goes for expert. Now, finally, let's take a look at the workspace page. Here you can control your workspace subscription, invite teammates, set up custom branding for expert files and integrations with third party services. Keep in mind that depending on your role in the workspace, some sections won't be available to you. So under the general tab, you can rename your workspace or invite a teammate. Before inviting, make sure you're located in the right workspace. Now click invite users. Enter the email of the person that you want to invite and make sure that this email is the exact email the individual used to sign up or that they will use to sign up at the Expressa. Now assign a role to this person. In most cases, this will be a contributor that is someone who can create and view projects, maps, personas, do experts, and share. This is the only billable role as the others are just administrative roles. Now click invite and this person will receive an invitation email. Once they sign up or log in, they can switch to your workspace and start collaborating. If at any moment you have a question or need help, you can always use the live chat that is placed across all the pages. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We are excited to have you aboard the Expressa. Have a wonderful day and happy mapping.